Hello, my name is Erica Jones and I am going to do the assessment assignment. I'm here with Logan. He's a 17 year old thoroughbred. Uh, he did have a short uh, career on the track um, since was retired and at a hunter jumper show uh, club. And then um, at 14 years old, he came to me as am I as his guardian. Um, he's had chronic episodes of um, thrush, which has since been um, managed with proper diet. Um, um, also the management of uh, negative pasture and axis with his trims. So we are doing really good with that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the, um, the gate analysis. So I'll go ahead and turn this around and um, I'll have you go ahead and walk out for me and then from side to side at a walk for right now. Thank you. So right now I'm just checking for any kind of head bobbing, limping on his legs, checking his tracking, which it does look like he's tracking up. He's not limping. Um, Logan has had uh, really tight hamstrings when his negative pasture and angles on his hooves were bothering him, but we have, we've since uh, corrected that and he's done really good uh, with that, with massage as well for his hamstrings. There you go. And then if you could just get him in a more of a forward walk and just have, go walk, walk this way for me and then just have him uh, more forward in a walk. He may have a fly on him. All right, walk on, Logan. Walk on. Come on, Logs, walk on. Good job. All right, so again, I'm just looking for tracking up, any kind of head bobbing, tightness, which he's looking really good today. All right, no head bobbing. All right, so then um, you can walk up this way and then I'll have you uh, have him go into a trot for me, going all the way out and then side to side if he'll, if he'll get into that. Just try to be very forward um, and then click on like I was yes. doing. Okay. Come on, Luke. Walk on. Walk on. All right, so now I'm gonna um, look at him from the behind in a trot. So he's flicking his tail a little bit. He has had a little background of lower lumbar stiffness in his uh, psoas area. So that's something I keep an eye on with him. Okay, so he, yeah, his tail to me, um, that indicates that little swishy swish. There might be something that could be indicative of his his psoas. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much. You can walk him back up. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on pause. I'm going to get him into the round pen and we're going to do the rest of the assessment, which is going to include vitals, range of motion, and palpation. Okay, I'm back here in a safe area with Logan. I'm going to go ahead and start the rest of the assessment evaluation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start out by checking his uh, symmetry in his shoulders and pelvis. Um, and here I go. Okay, there's the video. Thank you. All right, so I have my little handy dandy stool here. We'll get Logan squared up. Stay there, bud. So just looking at his pelvis to see any of his bones are sticking up higher, seeing the symmetry, and he looks really good back here. I don't see any um, asymmetry going on. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at his shoulders. Uh, just going to make sure his name's out of the way here so I can see his shoulder. So I'm just looking from behind. He's lined up, he's square. Uh, it does look like the left side of his scapula is smaller than his right. So I'll note that in his book. Good boy. Just going to look at the front of his shoulders. Is 
It does look like his left uh, shoulder um, triceps are a little smaller on this side, so I'll note that as well. Anyway. Just gonna grab my stethoscope and start on his vital. So on the left side of the horse, I'm going to go ahead and listen for his heart rate. Good boy. So it's a lub dub, counts as one. All right, so that's been about a minute. He's at 32. I'm gonna check for his respiration now. Okay, that's been about a minute. So he's at 12 um, respiration rates per minute. So that's good within the range. While I'm here, I'm just gonna check for gurgling, things like that. Make sure his digestion, I can hear a lot of noises. That's, that's what we wanna hear. Mm. All right, I'm hearing that. Okay. So we have the heart rate, we have, <clears throat> all right, let's check his hydration. Hello. So at the bottom of his neck, I'm just kind of pinch, make sure it goes right back, which it's kind of going slow. I'll just make sure I give him some electrolytes today. So he may be a little dehydrated. I'm gonna check his uh, capillary refill time and the color of his gums. All right, so it was pink and it went right back to, uh, it was white and then it went right back to pink, so that's good, and his color is pink, so that's good as well. Good boy. All right, so we got respiration, heart rate, capillary refill, color refill, and um, hydration. All right, so that's it for the vitals. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the, um, the range of motion and the TMJ. So the TMJ joint is right up in this area. So I'm just kind of palpating a little bit to make sure he's not having any, any head twitching or reactions. Uh, I could put my hand in here and here for clicking. I don't hear any clicking. I'm gonna do that on both sides here. I'm falling asleep. All right. All right, I'm not hearing any clicking, so that's good. All right, we have his occipital bone, so I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna go ahead and balance his head and see how he reacts to that. Not jerking back, so that's good. Let's see if he'll move his head in for me. All right, if you just come around here. All right, loves. So I'm checking um, now C2 through, through six. I'm going to just palpate, or I should say, just kind of just kind of push when I move his neck inwards to see if there's any reaction, which. I'm already feeling a reaction there. Let's see if he releases a little while I go in. Okay. So 
I'm just gonna note he's definitely a little reactive. You can see his head bobbing a little bit there. It's maybe a little tight today. I'm gonna check his other side as well. Um, so C6 and then C7 is gonna be right under the scalpula um, shoulder. I'm gonna check that by uh, bringing up his leg. And I'm gonna check for his scapula to move down. Kind of hard to see on this side, but I'm gonna lower it. All right. And I did see the scapula move. So that's good for C7. Good boy. Should we square it up so he can be balanced? So now I'm checking for Fetlock me so I'm just going to kind of note the flexibility here in his, in his footlock lateral cartilage me so that's good it, it touches his cannon bone so that's good while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and check his shoulder Oops, sorry buddy it's all right here you go So this is his shoulder, it's going back. No resistance there. Good job, Logan. Okay. So working my way back, I'm gonna check pelvis. If there's no reaction. He's there, that's good. Now I'm gonna check his um his stifles by extending his leg back and seeing how much resistance there. Check his fetlock. Good boy. He had a nice stretch there, so that's good. Just gonna square him up again so I can bring his leg forward to check his um, his hocks. Come here, baby. Step up. Good boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So now I'm just seeing about the flexibility of him stretching forward. Not pulling. So that's good. He went into a good stretch. Could be a little stiff, but he did go into a stretch, so that's really good. So now I'm just um, always checking him for his nonverbals. He's curious right now, but I'm just checking his tail right now. We do circles. We go both sides. He's not stiff at all back here. He's very loose. So that's good, but not too loose. Good boy, love. Check his withers. No reaction. Good boy. All right, so we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Right, I had already checked his TMJ. We'll check his occipital from this side. So that's the yes muscle. The atlas is the no muscle. So he's definitely, let's see how he is on this side. It's okay. Um, and also I just want to retract, um, where his atlas is. I'm just checking the, the groove between outside of his wing of atlas. Okay, bud. I'm checking for symmetry in both sides and I'm palpating just very lightly there on both sides and it feels even on both sides and I'm not really getting a reaction to palpating that. Good boy. All right, so we got C2 and six. Like I did on the other side, I'm just gonna um, bring it in and just lightly, um, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. See how he, how he is. So wing of atlas. Mm -hmm. Like he's a little stiff on his neck today. Ooh. 
So he's definitely tight and he's also tipping his head up like like water in his hair. Um, so I'm just going to note that um, he definitely seems tight through here. Good boy. Good boy. Withers. Okay. So this is, I'm going to go ahead and check his fetlock, his shoulder, knee. Now on this side. C7. I'm going to go ahead and do that onto the, the scapula here. Thank you. Just watching for that scalpula to move when I bring his leg down. Which I guess it kind of, I mean, it was hard to see, but I did see a little movement here. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's okay. It was very easy for him to do that. So now we check range of motion in the foot, in the hoof, lateral cartilage. They seem pretty good on both sides. They seem pretty even. His knee, that touches his bone here, cannon bone, so that's good range of motion. All right, so we got that done. Oh, and his shoulder. I knew I was forgetting something. And his shoulder joint is moving back. Good boy, Dogan. Good boy. All right, so now we just work our way back for range of motion. Elvis. Just always watching him for any reactions. Good boy. His stifle. Let's go ahead and see how he extends out there. I'm not gonna pull on his leg, but I just wanna see what he wants to do. If he's got, if he's stiff or too loose, I'm just kind of, you know, noting that, which he's really good. He's not too stiff, not too tight. Butt lock, lateral cartilage. He's got his uh, hocks, which he's a tight, he's tight in his hock. Um, this side, the right side, I'm gonna note is definitely tighter than his left. So I'll, I would note that in his records for bookkeeping. Um, so he did his tail, feet, legs, shoulder, butt lock, neck, occipital. All right, so now we're gonna start on the palpation. This is where I go in with my hands and check his muscles, see if there's any reactions um, of pain. All right, so check his mandible. Um, Seems definitely tight. He's kind of wanting to turn his head a little away from me, so I think he's he's definitely got a little tightness right here in his muscles today. Good boy. So we have the uh, deltoid, uh, 
splenius, frontocephalic muscle, um, check his crest. He's, um, you know, his triceps are definitely um, hypertrophied. They're just a lot bigger, and I think they just haven't been worked, so they just look really saggy right now. <laughs> he had really huge muscles when I first, he was. So, good boy Logan, withers, longestness, he's already getting some releases. He's usually really tight in his psoas, um, but I think since I've corrected his negative, negative palmar angle in his knee, or excuse me, in his, his hoof angles, I've seen such a big difference. Good. His ribs. Hi, babes. Hey, how you feeling? I'm gonna check his. Uh... It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. Just checking underneath. He's usually very sensitive under here. Pictorial. Longestimus. So he's got a knot right over his um, medial. Um, oh, he's sh see that? He was just shaking. Look at that. See that? So I'm definitely going to note um, over his medial glute on the left hand side. I totally seen a, a shake here. So I'm going to really focus on this area during his massage for release. Pelvis, bones, and the tail. Just checking for any kind of tightness, different um, color, uh, excuse me, not color, um, temperature. Any kind of temperature change, stifle. He's sometimes sensitive in here. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead and check down his leg here. Checking for any knots. So far, I just note this one here over his um, medial glutes. All right, we'll go ahead to the other side. Again, checking for any knots, tightness, temperature. So we have his uh, bronchiocephalic muscle, splenius, deltoid, crest. Definitely a little tight here today. He just kind of did a head bob. Not feeling any knots though. All right, baby. His pectorials. Getting no reaction there for soreness. Triceps. Again, they're they're just huge. Um, I think at one time they were probably overworked. 
but he's now 17, so he doesn't work as much as he used to. Withers. Checking for any kind of flinching or turning away from me. Might be a little sensitive there. Come here, baby. Come back up. Good boy. So we got the longest in this muscle here. Just checking his his face. He's over there yawning. I think he likes this. Flies are kind of getting to him right now. Ribs. He's very sensitive under here, so um, he's never really allowed me to touch down there. It's okay. Ooh. It's okay, baby. We got the we have pectorials under here as well. Check down his but uh, cannon bone me. Just making sure I feel no heat or too cold. He wasn't limping or anything, so that's you know good indication. Or otherwise, I would have checked his digital his pulse down there on his fetlock. Just checking for knots, any kind of. He's very sensitive in this area. He's, he's doing, he's kind of walking away now, but. Come here, Good boy. We're almost done. Checking for knots. Medial glutes, hamstrings. Inner thigh. I'm not feeling any swelling down here. He's he's had swelling down here before. He was in shoes on his front feet for at least seven years that I know before I got him and he was on the tracks. So I'm assuming he's been in shoes for many years. And unfortunately, um, I do have a high low and his back left had really bad thrush. But again, uh, that was been managed with proper diet, all forage diet. And a lot of omegas. Okay, so what I would do is just kind of in my mind assess, be like, okay, well, Logan's, his neck is definitely a little tight today. Um, definitely C2 through C6. Um, he didn't have too much of a hard time lifting his legs, but I would probably think maybe C7. So I really work on stretching and things like that and exercises that focus on that, um, especially after the massage. Um, and then he's got a, a knot on his left medial glute. Uh, everything else seemed pretty good today. Um, I did notice in his gait that when he attempted to go into a trot, his back tail like really flickered. Um, just something to note. I'm not too sure if that's an indicator of dysfunction or not, but it could be. So I'm just going to watch that. All right. So at this point, I, we have the gait analysis. We did the range of motion analysis. We did the uh, palpation and the, the vitals. So that's going to go ahead and conclude my assignment for the assessment section. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and start the massage part.